Hi, grammarians. Today I want to talk about this idea in English that we call agreement. So I'm going to teach you how to be agreeable and make it so that all of your sentences get along really well. Let me, let me give you an example. The dog barks as opposed to the dog's bark. Do you see the difference? It's funny because the S seems to, seems to migrate seems to move from one part of the sentence to the other. So what you wouldn't say is the dog bark. That doesn't work. And you wouldn't say the dog's barks. I know that's, that seems strange that you wouldn't want to have the S follow the other S, but you actually only want to have one of these in a sentence. So the dog barks, the dogs bark. When there's only one of something, strangely, in the present, you know, in the present tense, it takes this S. So, Jake bakes a cake. We bake a cake. Not Jake bake a cake. Which, admittedly, is a fun sentence to say. But this is not, in standard English, this is not correct. It doesn't, it doesn't exhibit what we call agreement. Similarly, you also wouldn't say, we bakes a cake. If you're familiar with the Lord of the Rings books or movies, uh, if you remember Gollum, the character Gollum, this is a weird little bug-eyed critter who's just kind of obsessed with uh, the One Ring. And he has this very particular way of speaking that is not, strictly speaking, uh, standard. Um, He's just wild about that ring. And the way he refers to everything is he just throws on an S uh, on the end of every word he uses, every verb. So if he's talking about, you know, this, this magic ring that he's very fond of, which he calls the precious, uh, he wouldn't just say, I love it. He'd say, I love it. Like so. And that's... Not correct. That does not, that does not show agreement. So the test here is really, you can figure out whether or not you are using agreement in your sentences if you sound like Gollum. Because if Gollum were being grammatical, he would say, I love it. So this is, this is the sense that I want you to develop, is you, you listen to yourself speak and you ask, do I sound like Gollum, the little ring monster? Because if you do sound like Gollum, then you're probably not operating under the, the, the agreement rules of standard American English. Or you're just doing a Gollum impression. That's the basic idea behind agreement, is you just want to make sure that, that the parts of the sentence match up. Sentence parts... match. They agree. They get along. They work. You can learn anything. David out.